in this kind of behavior. I've been looking at a lot of them and I see very similar behavior of the altcoins. Um, Give a TLVL. Nothing unusual. Really. The TLVL was seeing a little bit of an Adam and Eve on a slightly local time frame, the four hour time frame. I can see a little bit of an Adam and Eve. If you ignore that, deviation from the range, a little bit of a pumpy pumpy because of news that was really that was just uh that was just bullish news which took it higher, but you can almost ignore it because it was a, a reaction to news. What you can see is a little bit of uh, an Adam and an Eve, a rounding bottom here. There's a little bit of a rounding bottom forming here. As long as we don't take out 5.8 cents, um, we're in bullish four hour time frame market structure. I don't think we will because we are slowly kind of descending into uh, some volume levels here, filling this uh, volume gap of this push up. That's pretty normal. I think eventually what's going to happen is when Bitcoin moves, this is also going to start moving and we, it looks like we're forming a little bit of a rounding bottom. This is another Adam and Eve idea. I think this one should play out, to be honest with you. Uh, the neckline for me is going to be nine cents. Not this. So not this. I think this is a bit of a deviation because of that. Um, the, the That was the release. This is when they released the... Um, uh, the token, the token, uh, I think that was a token, tokenomics document, was it? Or something, or something, there was some kind of, or maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, but th this is, a bit, it looks, look, it looks like a bit of a deviation. Uh, probably not, actually, that was the tokenomics, wasn't it, there? That might have been something else. And uh, right now I can see a little bit of a rounding bottom. Yeah, so... If this if this plays out, we get a higher low here somewhere with Bitcoin breaking the point of control and on the Bitcoin range point of control, then the, you're going to get a capital rotation after Bitcoin moves. And once Bitcoin looks strong, uh, you're going to start getting a little bit of capital rotation into altcoins. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if then this starts kind of moving up. Uh, back test on nine cents and then hopefully... Um, with a little bit of uh, impulse, we could break that higher price target and go up to, I'm actually aiming for about 17 and a half. There are resistance levels in between, okay? But I think 17 and a half from this measured move of this pattern uh, form, which is formed, would be on point. Slightly under. Measured move would be about 15 15 and a half if we get a little overextended move to seven and a half 17 and a half that would be it's kind of my target but i mean let's see what happens you know uh, and it's also good if people are looking to trade this and i am as we go up i'm looking at the higher time frame fib levels for me they're the most important ones so we still have this 10 this 10 cent mark to break uh, I don't see why we don't. I mean, you never know. No one knows. No one can predict the future, as I always say. But I don't see if Bitcoin shows strength and we start getting an impulse uh, this time round. You know, I don't see why we don't break it. We might have to back test nine cents to do it. I don't know. We need to break it and then we need to head to the next level. Really, that's what I want to see. And that would, in my mind, that would complete this extension of this pattern. And then and then maybe we'll get another pullback. That would probably coincide with Bitcoin. And then maybe we can start attacking higher prices. Okay. Everything to, is as the two with Bitcoin. Eventually what's going to happen is that Bitcoin will break the all-time high. Yeah. Its own all-time high and will start rallying like crazy. Altcoins will follow. Yeah. They will follow. And so naturally, the best time to buy altcoins is when Bitcoin is pulling back. As you can see, um, we had a little bit of a, a bit of selling here. Yeah, but you've got this kind of increase. This volume is quite high and the price is being absorbed. Again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing bullish absorption. Yeah, and that, this is what people don't understand. Uh, they're selling and other people are buying and they're preventing the price from going down. 
uh, my favorite my favorite indicator is the CCI. I can see here the CCI has gone from positive 100 down to minus 200. That's that's minus 200 is extremely oversold, and you can see the bullish divergences here. Uh, higher lows, lower lower lows here. If the price, if there was no absorption, the price would have been down here by now to follow the price action would have to follow, uh, would have to follow the CCI. So people are selling with volume and it's being absorbed. I've been buying, you know, like I've been buying this dip because we're into bullish market. I don't know who's selling because it, it makes no sense. Yeah. People don't have no clue what they're doing. They're selling, but actually they're selling to a bullish market structure of people buying and then their price is getting absorbed. It's the same with Bitcoin, uh, but actually uh, it's a lot easier to see with this. You know, you can see the volume, you can see the price is struggling to come down. Yeah. But all of this volume, the price has only managed to come down 13%. Um, in the ideal world, you'd see a flat correction here. <laughs> I always talk about flat corrections and obviously we're not getting that. And so, uh, that's fine. If it was less volume, you'd probably, we'd probably get a, a flat, a flatter correction. The, the reason why we're getting a little, we always seem to be getting deep corrections is because you're getting these people who are just selling, selling, selling. I just want these people to, to end, to finish selling and stop selling and run out of tokens to sell. So actually we're coming to a point of control here. It's looking quite good. Um, maybe they see this, this whole thing as a, a head and shoulders, a uh, higher time frame head and shoulders pattern and they're getting bearish. Again, people don't quite understand that even though it looks like a head and shoulders pattern, we've put in a higher low here. So we haven't changed the market structure. So until you put in a lower low, uh, then you wouldn't be trading for a lower high. So they're probably trading for a lower high thinking this is bearish. It's a head and shoulders pattern. But actually we've put in a higher low here. We've changed for our time frame market structure and they're just they're incorrectly selling because they're feeling bearish because they see this pattern. This actually helps us because what ha what ends up happening is they're selling thinking this is a bearish idea, which it isn't because we haven't put in a lower low here. And, and so if we put in a lower low here, then you'd be selling into the lower high. We haven't put in a lower low. There's no lower high here. This is just consolidation uh, within the range. And actually what's happened is they're selling. Eventually their selling will stop and then you're going to get an impulse and they'll probably, maybe they'll end up buying back. Maybe they won't, but it'll be uh, quite impulsive to the upside because there'll be no more sellers. You're kind of running out of selling. Yeah. The sellers are being, will be eventually become exhausted and then you'll start having buying again. Buying is going to happen in, in sync with Bitcoin. Um, so that's TRVL. Any questions on that? 